Hey guys, it's taking a walk. It's a really nice day out. I'm actually about to go to Alex's house. We're about to spar. But I got three tips for you for what I call the melody of manifestation. So, number one, maintain each thought you have is positive. So, even when like shit hits the fan, just retain that inner calmness because this goes into the second one. Let your higher self control everything. Like, your little ass perspective vessel based mind is not going to. It can't, it can't comprehend infinity. And that's the thing that you need humility with, with your consciousness. Because as much as we are able to control shit, this is not an aspect you really want to have responsibility for. You want the aspect of yourself that already guided everything for you. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful bird. That's oh, a woodpecker. But um, probably about to hear it start smacking into the fucking wood in a minute. You just have to maintain that trust in yourself, that higher self. And... That's not to say that by doing that, nigga, you'll never have bad moments. That's not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that by you realizing that the good and bad are the same fucking thing, especially if you especially when we're talking about bad moments, bad moments when bad shit happens, is that you're manifesting the bullshit out of you. So let that be your mantra when the bad shit's happening to you. You just you're manifesting out the bullshit. And this third thing is I my favorite of all the three I wrote, which was be sure minded in your words because you know what you don't know. Like, <laughs> it's as simple as that. Communication, you almost break every barrier having to do with using your fucking mouth because you're more aware of what you don't know than you are trying to, like, you know, collect in your head, what do I know? You know? Like, just <laughs> speak your mind. And when it gets to situations where, like, you know, say, like, you're asked specific questions on things and you, you just don't fucking know. Say you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to like bullshit your way through things just for like conversation's sake because often just admitting that already puts you in the right energy because then that's going to open up to say for example that other person bringing another topic up or whatever you shouldn't be stressing about these little things social anxiety is really a weird thing because it's like we worried about we separating ourselves <laughs> it's just one consciousness i see you and me because you are me nigga and i'm you so stop trying to argue about every little thing and just love each other. There's a difference between love and sentimentality. And that's what you see a lot with that new age movement where they'd be like, love, love everybody, love, love, peace and all. It's like, shut the fuck up. Because, you know, a lot of people, uh, they don't they don't vibe the same way. And you tend to have clashes in your life with various people. That's just how life is. When you choose to go out, that's the risk. But it's a rewarding risk because with each encounter, you prioritize what the fuck you want and don't want in a relationship to begin with. So, huh. it's really nice, this area. But yeah, that's all I had to speak on today. Love you guys. Stay vibrational and peace, Pantheon. And it's talking about yogis. I was like, what's a yogi? And I was like, oh yeah, it's a person that takes higher consciousness from yoga. And then uh, oh, that's so literally nice. 30 minutes later, uh, mom came home with the Amazon package for a yoga mat. And she was just like, who the fuck ordered this? I didn't order this. Who, who ordered this? Nobody ordered it. And I was like, I have it? Yeah. It's mine now. It's in my room. And I got a flower away for it. Damn, that was nice. You've heard of the Uchiha clan, yet you're challenging me? You must be even more psycho than you look. If that's possible, you want to know more about my clan, then I'll teach you the hard way.
definitely good on that one. Oh, fuck. Yeah. My bad. Nah. <laughs> it's expected, honestly. Shit might hit your medulla, ooh. Nigga for Gucci and Louis, I got 12 zodiacs, I cop constellation belts. Fluidity here with like Riley and Huey, we off no good, you can call it out the shadow self. I got a Scorpio moon, every sunny got it going, nobody else. These niggas Babylon babies, I talk to Oshun, that little bitch is my baby. Watch me pull up like Ogun, take that thing out and then go crack a coon. He get one hit like Raccoon, touch his third eye and he leave his cocoon. 